Hello guys, it's Troll here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Raspberry Pi. This is mine here. To work with the NC USB interface using JamRI. I'm also going to try and set up um, the Wi-Fi. I think it's Wi-Fi throttle or server on the Raspberry Pi, so you can control it with your phone. So, okay. so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, everyone. So we're now on the now over on the Raspberry Pi and remoting onto it. Um, and I'm now I've loaded up the JMRI website. So what you need to do is go to the top here. It says download. Click that, and then scroll down. You see this link here. Yeah, that's the the Linux link. And then in a second it will download. And come on. Okay, that's now downloading. So once that's downloaded, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, the file has now downloaded. There it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this and put it on the desktop, and just for simplicity. So let's paste that. There we go. And now that that's downloaded, so what we need to do is right-click on it and go Extract Here. And that will give us a folder called JMRI. And I'll be back in a sec once that's finished extracting. Okay, everyone, so as you can now see, the JMRI folder has finished extracting. Uh, so the next job is going to be to copy it into, where it needs to, into the directory it needs to be in. So the first thing we need to do is open the terminal. And then, oh, what I've got is a little file here called code. This is just, so I've got the code written down so I can get to it. So this is the code you're going to need to run. Um, this will work on anything. If you've put the folder exactly where I've said, and you are the default username for you is called is pi, this will work exactly. But you can change out pi there for anything, you, any any name you want. If you're depending on what your username is, I just use the default pi username because I don't see much point changing it. So, what you need to do is type this in. Make sure you get your spelling, your capital letters all right, as I've found out before. Okay, so just hit enter, and that will just think about it for a second. And I will be back once it is finished copying. See you in a sec. So, as you can see, the terminal has finished copying the GMRI folder into the slash opt folder, which means that means it's ready to run. So, what we need to do is we go to if we go to File Manager. And then type slash opt in here, it takes us to the folder. And you get JMRI. As you can see, everything is in here. Now, if you want to launch the uh, panel pro, we just click on this thing, just go execute. And then, if you give it a second, it there we go. As you can see, the GMRI logo has come up, which is good to see. And there we go, that's now all set up. So the next thing to do is to good moment we're not actually connected to the layout. You see when the first time it boots it asks for all this. So I could go it's got all the main main sy systems here. So I'm gonna select mine which is the NCE and then it's the it goes the NCE USB or whatever connection you're using. But as you can see you can't find the device because it's not actually connected at the moment. So the next job is to unplug this from where it is. Take it down to the layout, connect it up, and then in we can go about setting up the USB -E and get some trains running. So I will see you in a sec. Okay, everyone, so I've now got um, the Raspberry Pi connected up to the layout via the NC USB interface. So the first job is to relaunch Panel Pro. At launch. Okay, so the hot menu pops up. It does, and then we just gotta wait and in a second it should open up the preference menu. There we go. So now that we got it all connected up, uh, you just need to go system and first job is to go system manufacturer and select NCE. Give it a second. And select 
NC USB. Now the next, the last job to do is to go is to click where it says serial port and then go. The only, or there'll only be one available because of it being a Raspberry Pi. So select that one, then hit save. So it will give us prompt to restart, so hit restart. And once that's restarted, that should now be connected to the layout and up and working. And as you see, it now says NC using NC using NC USB on and then the serial port name. Okay. So the next job is going to be this this is not doesn't necessarily apply. Depends on whether or not you want to use it on the Raspberry Pi or if you want to use it controlled via your tablet. So what I'm going to control it via the tablet, so what I'm going to do is set up something called Y throttle. So I'm going to go preferences and then go start up and now go click where it says add action and then open this drop down menu and select Y throttle. And then start Y throttle server. There we go. That means whenever you open GM right, you won't have to go and click start Wi Fi. I thought you can just. Um, as soon as you launch it, it will just launch it automatically. So I hit save. And then it'll ask to restart again. So will it restart again? So, the way this is now set up is once you've turned on the Pi, you'll need to use something, you know, maybe a phone or a tablet, to connect to it using a. And a v I use VNC viewer. Well, then you can launch Panel Pro and everything else will launch up, and then you can just forget about the Pi for now, and you can control using either engine driver if you're using Android or Y throttle if you're using Apple. So uh, next job is to test this all out. So I'm going to move the camera to it's pointing at the layout and show you how to use the engine driver app. Okay, so see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we're now over at the layout. I've got my class 40 on the track, all ready to go. As I put up, so what I'm going to do is open the engine driver app on my tablet, on my Android tablet here. And what the Android, you know, there's no real setting up required with this. You just open the app, and it will look on the network for any Wi-Fi throttle service. And as you, if you can see in the top there, the camera won't focus, but on the very top under discovered servers, it has found my JMR railroad. So we just, I'm just going to select that, and that will now connect me to the Wi-Fi throttle. Now I can select the local I want. I'm going to select number 232, which is the one right from you. So let's just check to see if this has all worked. Let's try it. So I've got a local selected up here. This is what the swallow looks like. Uh, so at the top, you can what we've got is, oh, it's focused now. Um, got forward, reverse, and stop. And then we've got the, you see the little blue dot, that's the throttle bar. So I can move that forward and backwards and make the loco move and we've got all 28 functions that we can use this circle doesn't have 28 but we can use this app supports all 28 so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try the horn just to check that it's worked so let's try the horn okay so that we now know that's all working so let's just see if we can move it forward there we go so I would call that a success Hopefully that's all set up. I uh, hope, hope you like this and found this informative. Um, I may be doing some more videos on GMRI at a later date on making your own layout, setting signals up, all this sort of stuff. I've got some other hardware to come at some point to connect up to the layout. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, comments or suggestions, please put them down below in the comment section and I will get back to you. And for now, CCR Guy 2012 out.